The school has a, an extensive solar PV system that was installed a couple of years ago and it's also participating in the Hayfield My Town Microgrid Feasibility Study. Hayfield Primary School has a, a, has a monitor, an energy usage monitor installed and it's participate, that data will go into the microgrid study. The most important part about any community energy project is collecting data and you're going to need a lot of it which might be from the electricity network, it could be from people's smart meters or even the consumers themselves. You said sunlight, so can you talk to me a bit more about sunlight, what does it do? The president of our school council at the time uh, asked us to investigate the cost of solar panels and uh, all with the intention of cut cutting our costs with electricity bills and as well to have a look at how we can be kind to the environment. Very quickly we noticed that our electricity bills uh, were cut more than half and then more and more we started learning of the benefits. I'm interested to know uh, what you think about why is the sun important? Because it helps things grow, provides food gives us clean and efficient energy for everyone to use. By clean energy, I mean we're not using any of the resources of, from the ground. We were lucky to be in Hayfield, uh, which is one of the um, rare places where we can potentially have a grid of panels that can generate electricity and share it around within the town. It's something that we're quite proud of and that will leave a, quite a good legacy of the school. Essential to a project like this is community engagement because there's a lot of complex issues that we've got to explain, like how people use energy, about solar and batteries and how they might be used. But to make these issues simple and understandable for everybody, that data is available to the community at the displays we've installed at the post office, the community resource centre and one of the schools. And the research team can actually access the same data through the Watwatchers cloud and our APIs. So the MyTown Microgrid is a really good program that helps the school and our students understand more uh, of the benefits of the solar panels and also with the link with the community of Hayfield. Um, it's fantastic to be able to see the curves and the graphs showing how much we generate, how much we use and as well how much we share with um, the rest of the community. Do you know how our school have electricity? Um, well, there's solar panels on the roof. We have solar panels on the roof? Um, are there a lot of them? Have you noticed if there's a lot? Yeah, sort of. Yeah. yeah. Now can you tell me, do you know how the solar panels work? Um, so the sunlight comes down and generates some electricity to power the laptops, phones, fridges and microwaves. What happens to the electricity we don't use? It gets shared around the town for other people to use. Okay. It goes to the grid. It has even created for uh, some of us to be quite conscious about turning off those power points when we're not using them and to turn off the lights and really use the electricity when we need it only. The vision we have for our school is to degasify the school completely and to we have a really big gas bottle at the back of the school and we would like to get rid of it and replace everything with more solar panels so everything will be electric with no gas. We're hoping to put more solar panels and to create more link with, with the community but what we're hoping is to really use the graphs and my town grid program and educate our students so they are aware of uh, energy sufficiency and that they can uh, take this into their own lives when they grow up.